Hi guys, my name is Rachel Ralston and this is The Painted Zebra. Um, today is not my normal video um, and I'm just not going to edit this. I'm just going to put it up. I know um, I've been absent for the past little while. I got an infection and then my dog Bailey's been sick, which is what I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, I got Bailey two years ago. Um, he's two and a bit and when... I got him, I had just come home from hospital after a really bad bout with sepsis. Um, I was honestly suicidal. I didn't want to live anymore and um, ever since I've had him, my life has been so much brighter. Um, Mary loves him. Um, he's my perfect little companion and um, Bailey is a King Charles Cavalier. Um, he's my lap dog. He's my best friend, but um, he... All his life I thought something was different with him. When he'd exercise too much, he would collapse. But every time he took into the vet, they'd say, oh yeah, he's fine. Like, you know, maybe it was heat. Maybe it was, um, cause he's a cavalier. Sometimes their palate's too long, I think. Um, and maybe it's that. Um, but then a month ago he got really unwell. He was barely moving off his food, just miserable. And we took him straight into the vet. And they took his heart rate and it was right down. So um, it was, I can't remember what it was at the vet, but at the moment it's sitting around 30 to 40 when it should be up around the 120s. Um, so we've, for the past month, I've spent $3,500 on all these different tests for him. Um, and it came to the conclusion that he has sick sinus syndrome, um, which is causing him to collapse basically any time he does anything. So he can't walk up the stairs in our house. Um, he can't play with Mary. He can't go on walks. Even eating takes it out of him. He can't have biscuits anymore because they're too hard to chew and make him too tired. He is just so sick and miserable. Um, they tried medication, but that didn't work. So the only treatment option we have is a pacemaker. Now, um, I'm in Australian, so this is in Australian dollars. Um, we need 8500 for the pacemaker, and the vet wants to do this surgery next Thursday, um, so a little under a week. Um, and after spending all the money I had on the tests, um, I've had to come to the conclusion that I need to make a GoFundMe and ask for help because there's no way I can afford this. Um, and the vet said that without this surgery, it's very likely he won't survive. Um, they were, uh, were even considering it, doing it as an emergency um, that night, but decided that if we keep him quiet at home, we can wait until Thursday. Um, so um, I started a GoFundMe a couple of days ago. So far, as I'm filming this video, we've raised about 1,500, um, but that still means we have seven thousand dollars to go um and while i am so in so grateful for everything everyone has already done for this fundraiser um and for me and for bailey i need to keep pushing this out there so that maybe we can get this money together um so that mum doesn't have to basically sell her car so that we can afford this um we've We've just in such a state at the moment um, and the money is making this stressful time even more stressful. Um, I hate to ask you guys for help, but that's what I'm doing. So if you could even just donate $5 each, that would be so incredible. Um, just anything really, whatever you can spare would really help. Um, even just the price of your morning coffee would you know it's something um and the more people that do that the more money we can raise and also if you can't donate there's no hard feelings but if you could please share the gofundme in your networks that would be really good and hopefully it can get to the right person who can help us um to save bailey's life so i'm sorry to ask for this help and i'm sorry i've been absent um Bailey's recovery will be about two months and I'm not sure that I'll be filming in that time. I am going to start an Instagram for him though, documenting his recovery. So if you'd like to follow over there, I'll put the um, username in the description once I set up the uh, account. 
but I'll put the GoFundMe in the description and if you could please donate and share it would mean so much to me um, yeah I I don't really know what to say more than that but you know thank you so much in advance for your help and support um, it means so much and I'm so thankful for the community that I've built on this platform and I hope that we can come together in Bailey's time of need so Thank you all and I will hopefully see you soon in the next one. Bye.